Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at the newest creation from the company Zoologist Perfumes. And this one is called B, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin the video, I do want to disclose that this product was sent to me for review. I am part of their press list, so whenever I smell a Zoologist fragrance that really resonates with me, I like to review it on my channel for my loyal subscribers. And this is the most recent one that came out, and I was actually quite surprised that they ended up releasing another one before the end or the conclusion of 2019, and the creative director, Victor Wong, is continuing to do an amazing job with these fragrances. So just in case for those of you who don't know, Zoologist puts out uh, fragrances that smell like either animals or their habitat, but most often their habitat. In the case of some animalic ingredients, I know they're civet, and civet is a very popular ingredient in the perfume world. But of course, when you think of bee, you think of honey. And there's definitely a honeyed aroma in this one. It actually does contain beeswax. And so this is a very interesting and intriguing smell for me. Now, I first smelled this fragrance about a week ago when I was visiting Perfumology in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And my good friend Nir, who is the owner of that boutique, had me smell this one and it was love at first sniff. I actually sprayed this on my clothes. So I was wearing this at Perfumology about a week ago. I'm very excited to tell you what I think of the smell. Let's Let's start things off with the presentation. The box for this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. It actually has a sleeve that comes off. So you can sort of see this beehive pattern on here. It's really, really nice. The box itself is yellow. You just have the graphic here on the front. And then you also have this flap that opens up to reveal the notes, the concentration, the perfumer. And there's also a little uh, common here on the bottom. It says Zoologist Bee contains beeswax, but bees are not harmed in its harvesting. Very, very nicely done. And then on the back, you also have the name, the concentration, and the ingredients. The bottle for this fragrance is also quite nice. The cap has a snug fit, so you can pick it up from the cap. And the distribution on the pressurized atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. Wow, as soon as this fragrance opens up, you are going to get this overdose of honey and beeswax. But my nose actually picks up on the orangey nuances as well. It's very subtle. It doesn't smell like an orange creamsicle or anything like that because there's also a little bit of vanilla in the base. But you definitely pick up on the orangey nuances in there, but it's not overwhelming the honey. The honey is definitely the star player. It takes center stage in this composition. And what I particularly love about the honey is that it's a very natural and true to form smelling honey without being overly powdery. I know that that is a concern that I've received from a lot of the subscribers on this channel who actually leave comments and say, you know, Back to Black by Killian smells uh, too honey-like. There's a Naomi Goodsir fragrance, I think, called Hors du Sorel, which also smells kind of powdery. And so those two fragrances that I just mentioned often receive that criti critique or criticism. That is not the case with this one. It's very full-bodied. It's very robust. It's very well rounded out. I'm definitely picking up on the honey, but at the same time, I'm also picking up on nuances of vanilla and labdanum. And you have this resinous component in the base, which I think is doing two things. One, it's increasing the viscosity of the honey. And so it definitely feels very thick and syrupy all the way down into the base. And I'm not sure how much this Royal Jelly Accord is contributing to that overall smell, but it definitely increases the viscosity and keeps it going strong well into the base of the fragrance. But then you also have this uh, underlying current of sweetness that is added into the mix. And I think that that is on account of the resins as well, because especially in the case of labdanum, while I find labdanum to be a little bit more on the exotic side, I know benzoin has this vanillic overtone while also smelling a little bit um, medicinal. This one does not smell medicinal to my nose. This is a very rounded out, full bodied, beautiful fragrance. I mean, this is an amazing release from the House of Zoologists. And you know, as is the case with any perfume company, there are some fragrances that really resonate with me. And then there are some where I appreciate them for their creative merit. But at the same time, it just doesn't work on my skin or it's not something that I can see myself wearing. B is gorgeous. And I can see why they released it in this time of the year because I think it would do perfectly well in the winter time and in the colder weather. It's just a very 
really robust and rich scent and I can see the quality of the composition through and through in this fragrance. So they do use real beeswax, however no bees are harmed in the making of this perfume. And then if you give it a chance to settle down, the honey uh, nuance never fully goes away, but you do get a little bit more of that vanilla and some of those rich resins uh, in the base. Nothing about it is overly woodsy or floral or anything like that. And despite there being a little bit of citrus in the opening, more on the orangey side, which is a combination of the orange fruit, but also orange flower, it just adds a nice little character to the perfume without necessarily... Um, you know, giving it a specific unique identity. I think that it's really the honey that's to be attributed to the uniqueness of the smell. Really well done. I'm very impressed with this fragrance and I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Let's finish things off with my overall assessment. In terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is a very unique fragrance. I know that there are a lot of honey-based fragrances on the market. Montal has a honey-based fragrance. Flores has a honey-based fragrance. Back to Black, Naomi Goodsir. But honey is one of those ingredients that I feel like it can even veer powdery, but it can also be kind of very warm and thick and cozy, syrupy, resinous, viscous. And we definitely see a lot of the latter going on in this one. Very unique. I'm very happy with this fragrance. Overall smell is incredibly powerful, but it's one that will uh, lure people into you. That's certainly the impression that I got when I tried it at Perfumology a week ago, but I also had my mother smell this one and she goes, oh my God, all I smell is honey until she actually smelled it up close and you know she saw the complexity of the scent. Longevity on this one, fantastic. I get about eight hours. Uh, projection on this one was also quite loud for the first three hours. So that is something that I think is two things. It's a testament to the quality of the perfume. It's a testament to the raw materials being used, but it also shows you that the concentration of this one is quite high. That seems to be the case with many other, if not all other zoologist fragrances that I have put my nose on and that I proudly own and display behind me here. In terms of the versatility, incredibly versatile fragrance, but you have to be a fan of honey. So if you don't like the smell of honey, forget about it. I don't think that this one should be worn in the middle of summer unless you're being very light on the application and you're in a climate controlled environment just because it is a beast mode performer. And so you'll be able to pull this one off in the colder weather perfectly unisex and as far as the presentation is concerned I love this uh, sort of it's a sleeve it comes off but I also like the different color that is being utilized here for this particular presentation I know the limited edition Antonio Gardoni uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex has the red sort of texturized um, sleeve on it and so this one is really really cool my final verdict on this one is if you are a fan of the note of honey or you are a fan of the way that honey smells this is a holy grail this is absolutely a fragrance to get your nose on I personally love it I can't wait to wear this one more often in 2019 and as a matter of fact I would go as far as saying this is one of the best releases of 2019 I was truly blown away when I smelled t-rex for the first time albeit a little bit daring but when I smelled this I thought to myself wow Victor Wong knows what he's doing and I'm very proud of him so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was my review of Bee by Zoologist. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would love it if you could support this channel by subscribing to it. All you got to do is click the red button in the corner. And this way, whenever we do release future fragrance-related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.